Next up, DeFi scams should take their losses. Kraken CEO Jesse Powell states, and this is a pretty good one. It's like gangster move by Jesse here. So Kraken CEO Jesse Powell lambasted or skewered, we're going to call it, DeFi scams for rushing their rollout and then expecting exchanges to bail them out as soon as things go south. Powell adds that these projects that fail to invest in insurance and audits have to take their losses in order to be enlightened. And this is the comment uh, that was put here. I'm not going to go to the Twitter one because uh, it's a lot more colorful language. So this is the basis of what he says. He goes, I will not accept your attempt at externalizing the cost of your hasty, reckless rollouts. Invest in audits, insurance, and please do your own research. Taking your losses is the only way to enlightenment. And so here's the issue with, with these DeFi projects. Cronehay uh, and, the, and the rest of those uh, people who actually make up DeFi, first of all, I like DeFi. I think it's going to be fantastic. I just don't agree with rolling it out and out without testing it and allowing people to get into it and lose a bunch of money. Obviously, you know, freedom reigns if they want to go out there and do whatever they want. But a lot of people got wrecked and they didn't really know what the heck they were doing. So I guess it is a learning experience. And that's why I will always be on this channel to tell you the exact same thing. Don't chase shiny objects. <laughs> that's it. But uh, this keeps happening again and again and again. I can understand, you know, like, okay, first time, all right, fool me once, shame on me. But in all honesty, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, this is like, I mean, we just covered one yesterday, another DeFi project. I even forgot the name. There's been so many that they were hacked for 24 million and the hacker returned 2.5, which is crazy, but whatever. So let's just do a little timeline dance. So this is just a little history of, of failures. So in early August, yield farmers deposited more than 400 million to an unaudited protocol called Yam Finance. Remember that? Gone. I mean, maybe it's still around. I'm not for sure, but it lost a ton of money. Then, uh, then there was the Uniswap uh, fork, Sushi Swap. What happened there? I think we all remember. The Master Chef just took off with the money, and I don't even know is Sushi even the top 100. Let's take a look. Let's see, Sushi. 115. So that's quite a fall uh, from where it was before. Let's just take a look real quick, see where it's at. Hey, 68 cents. It's up 10% today. <laughs> it's pretty good. So uh, let's just see where it was before. And this doesn't look hot. So here it was. I think it's height. It was how much? 11 bucks. Wow, pretty good. And then uh, so here's the thing about DeFi. You can make a lot of money, but then you got a lot of people holding the bags. So if you're into that, that's cool. Uh, I'm not, but uh, you can give it a shot. And then here's where it went to, and then two sixty down here. So yeah, so there's that sushi swap, and then they managed to outdo themselves by pouring millions into Eminence, the untested protocol of urine finance founder Andre Cronhey, only to be hit by a hack within the same day. So it just it boggles my mind how people just keep buying into it, buying into it, buying into it, and for what? Just so you can gamble and see if you can make money out of it. And uh, it's like playing musical chairs, but a lot of people, they get the, the chair pulled on, underneath them. And there's only so many people that can actually walk away with a profit. And a lot of people don't. So to Jesse here, to Kraken, I like Kraken a lot anyhow. I mean, they, they got that banking license in Wyoming, so I'm really happy for them and, and good about that. I like to see someone speak up about these projects because it's just ridiculous. In all honesty, it's actually, if you think about it, it's a lot, le it's a lot better than those leverage trading platforms, which do like 50 or 100x, at least for the DeFi, you only lose your money. When you have leverage programs uh, where you're trading at leveraged amounts, 50x, 75x, whatever else, you lose a lot of money. So I guess in that regards, I can, to me, I think leverage is one of the worst, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last piece. So our last piece is Q of the day, and it's pretty good. It's about gold and Bitcoin. It was a great question by Jake, so I thought I'd throw it in there because uh, it needs to be answered. Let's jump into the office.